Good afternoon, my gorgeous friends. How are you all? <laughs> I've been watching your comments for the last five or 10 minutes. Thank you so much for taking the time to come and say hi today. A little bit of an impromptu sort of studio, should we say, but I really felt like today I needed some craft. I needed my friends and I really just needed to die cut and see all of you guys just to keep me motivation up keep me going my name is tony Derek. this is the how to craft network studio as always if you are not a subscriber please click that subscribe button if you are watching us for the very first time you've been flicking through youtube and you've come across my smiley face we have a lovely studio where you can come and say hi at any time and you can go back and watch all of our videos all of our inspiration and lots of other guests live in the how to craft network studio we are also now available on your smart devices at home as well. All you need to say is shout the name of your device and say, remind me to watch the How to Craft Network at a given time. If I'm on at one o'clock, it will be one o'clock reminder. Set that reminder on your devices. Or if you just want to let um, your device know that you just want to watch one of our live shows, all you need to do is say, hey, the device name and play the How to Craft Network YouTube live. And this works on most of your smart, in fact, it works on all of your smart devices at home. So you can watch if you are cooking or if you just want to catch up and you can't be bothered to flip through the TV or you can't be bothered to get your laptop out, you can do it in your own leisure, which we're super pleased and proud of. So let's say hello to our friends. Hi, Brian. Hi, Tracy, Amanda. Hi, Kathy. Hi Angela, hi Enid, hi Amanda, it's lovely to see you all, hi Shirley, hi Tracy, hi Joe. hi Angela, hi Sue and Dave Breton. Sue got her um, prize as well on Monday, which I handed to her, she's like, oh my gosh, I didn't expect this, so Sue collected a lovely prize from our show on Monday, well done Sue. So there's quite a few of you on, but like I say, there's probably lots missing because they're not expecting me to be live today. So it's going to be quite a relaxed studio. I have a cup of coffee. I hope you have the same at home. Let's just have a crafty chat. Hey, I'm just going to um, touch on the Pretty Penny um, event and the Imala event, which comes to the end at the end of the week. OK, so I'm going to run some Pretty Penny dies through, show you the size, show you how beautifully they cut of uh, some of the most popular ones. There are hundreds on there. Obviously, I've grabbed a handful, which are just here, as you can see. Um, uh, if you want to know any sizes and things like that, of the ones I have in my hand, obviously, then give us a shout and I'll talk you through sizes, etc. But the offer is, at the moment, all of these are £6 each, normally £16.99. I know a lot of you have already got them. But if you've missed the event, it is still on till the end of the week. And that is, if you buy six, you get a free paper trimmer, just for nothing, just for buying the six as well. But the offer is um, all of them are normally £16.99 and they're down to £6. And you will know if you are a club member or you have accrued those points, you're going to... I saw that some of the ladies got these dies at £4.50. £4.50. And let me tell you, they're huge for what they are. So all you need to do to see those pretty penny dies and offerings is have a look at the awesome deals page. That allows you to see all of the deals that we've got going on at the moment. We've got some uh, I'm Maller in there, buy four, save 30%. That is on till the end of the week. So if you buy four A5, sorry, it's not just on stamps, it's on papers as well. So if you buy any I'm Maller product four of, you save an extra 30% off. And if you are a club member, you get them for like eight, nine pounds. So check out those. But the one that I'm going to look at today is the Pretty Penny offering, which they are all at six pounds by six. Get that free trimmer. Um, and maybe today, if you um, were just looking and have just stopped by just to say hi, then you're going to come at the right time because we've got some amazing savings. Have we all got a drink of tea or coffee? Yes, I saw you all talking about a chocolate orange and a Kit Kat. I haven't had any chocolate today yet. I'm feeling very tired today, but I'm feeling really upbeat because we've got lots of things going on in the background. Uh, nothing much to tell you any further about TV moving forward. So we don't know anything yet. It is what it is. We just continue to do our Create and Craft shows. Um, and that is one thing I want to tell you about today. I have a weekend over on Create and Craft on Friday for two shows. And then Saturday and Sunday, I'm going to be zooming into the Create and Craft um, TV channel 
But Friday, I'm going down to do the live show. And I will do a Facebook Live this week over on what's going to be on the show. Some of the products we have actually launched here in studio. So you're going to have, be able to see those again. We've got some new stencils as well. It's not a great show. It's not a great show. It's a fabulous show, obviously. But it's not a great big show. It's just little things in there because we appreciate January and February are tough months for us all. So, oh, welcome Kimberly here for the first time. Hi, sweetheart. Lovely to have your company. You're going to be meeting lots of people who um, all love the love of craft like me and we'll put that arm around you and help you out with anything you need to know, should you wish. Or maybe you can help us at some point. Don't forget to tell your friends about our How to Craft Network studio. We would love for you to share our YouTube channel. Subscribe if you can. Uh, all of the good stuff. Just give us that wider reach. We need it more now than ever, I suppose. So I don't like to obviously ask all of the time, but if we could let everybody know that at the How To Craft Network studio, you do get the inspiration. We do have live launches and we also have new brands coming to our shows as well, which is also cool. So ooh, we've got a few more on now. So hi, Jackie. Hi, Enid. Hi, Mark. I hope you're well. Chocolate biscuits at the ready. Yeah, I'm going to have a chocolate biscuit when I get home tonight. I haven't got any here. And I did have a hunt around as well, but nobody's got any hidden chocolates in the drawers either. Gutted. So, hi Jan, I don't know if I missed you out, sweetheart, but lovely to see you all regardless. So, if you've got any questions about anything, because obviously it's not, um, it's not a full show, we're not doing a counter, you can see the offerings and the savings on the counter, go and have a peruse on the website if you want to. But I have a couple of the dies from the Pretty Penny um, collection, there are hundreds, so I couldn't do them all, but I've grabbed a few. And what we'll do is we'll run them through our machine, I'll show you um, some options when cutting them through and how you can use them. Um, and I'll also talk about, about sizes as well, because they are big for that price. They are really, really big. Okay. So, Tony, will you be getting any of the Grunge Squares st stock? Is that for the stencils, Shirley? If it's the stencil, we have it. I just haven't put it on yet. Stand by. Stand by. Oh, and Julie, we're sending our love to your hubby, sweetheart. I hope you're both okay. Sending our love, darling. So, and then what I'm going to do as well is if we pop a comment underneath this video today, obviously get that interaction. I'm going to give all of the dies away that I use today live in show as well. So you'll be getting some extra goodies home. We love a good giveaway, don't we? <laughs> I haven't trained them all well, Irene. I know. Normally they have got goodies in their draw though. So just, if I miss the question, just keep asking the question and I'll obviously try and get through the questions. But if you've got a cup of tea or a cup of coffee, fire away. I'm just gonna, got, I've got some of the lovely pretty penny ones and I'm just gonna start cutting some of them through and everyone that I use in studio today, I will do as a giveaway. I am appreciative of your company today. I really needed to craft for this lovely hour today as well. I needed a break from all the hustle and bustle and all the dilemmas and all the things that are going on in the office as well so let's have a look so shall we do one of the big ones first so let's have a look at this one this is the butterfly frame one and i've picked one of this one because it's a really really big one okay and i wanted to show you the size so this is the die as it appears on the front of the packaging okay but my gosh when you get this home you're going to be absolutely blown away bearing in mind these prices are six pound at the moment but if you are in the club and you have all of those extra points accrued you're going to get this for about four pound fifty it's huge it's five by seven it goes on the top of a five by seven card so let's just run these ones through and don't forget if you do pick six you get that trimmer but if you want to go and buy the one at six pounds absolutely you can do that too joe that's absolutely right joe the best medicine is with friends tell me about it it absolutely is right i'm sorry i've torn the packaging you know, whoever gets this is just going to get the backing card and the die right let's run this one through now I'm going to be using my um, on-the-go machine here. Uh, so, so easy. But our dies work with all of your machines because they're a good quality die. So all I'm going to do is I'm just going to take the... Um, let me turn my plate around here. Look, Pop my card on. Now, just pop this on. You can see it's a big one, can't you? It's a six-inch die-cutting machine. Mark Flood's question is asking about the um, aprons. Stand by, Mark. I know I keep saying stand by, but um, honestly, we're on it. Let me just turn this this way so I can use my right hand. So I'll just pop this through so you can see what I'm doing. So if you, when you run it through, if you hear a cranking, it's absolutely normal. If you hear it crunking and cranking and cracking, it's normal. It's a sign of a good day, I'm told. <laughs> 
Ellen saying, let's share some crafty to absolutely. We need our friends, don't we, when we, when we are? So you can see here straight away. So all of these little butterflies are, you can see, all of those little butterflies are going to pop out. Now you could, let's just say, for instance, pop pop this out and raise those wings. Let me just pull this one out here. So if I was to stick to this, I'm going to show you a few different examples. Let me just grab some card here. Obviously, I'm not making cards today. Just chill out show today. Yes, Joe, this is the six inch machine. So you can see here, look. Now you could absolutely stick it down if you wanted to, but all of these butterflies pop out. But what you can do is pop them all out and then paper piece them back in. But what you can do is you can raise those wings, look, and just glue the bodies back in. So you can see whatever cardstock is behind. You can obviously see the black behind there. If your die hasn't quite cut through, it hasn't quite cut through at the top here, I'll just show you a little tip. Now, there's, ver there's, a, there's various ways of getting a better die cut on your machine because these, I can see these top two here haven't cut. The line hasn't gone quite through. But I'll just show you a little bit of a trick here, what I find sometimes helps me. So I'm just going to bring my die cut machine. Now, you can pop the die back on and run it through again and twist it like they sometimes say, like so. So you just get, grab your die. And you'll sort of wiggle it around and it'll sort of like slot back into place so I can see straight away there, slot back into place. And I can run it through, I can twist it. But what sometimes I find is if you just get just some water, everyday water in a spritz bottle and just give the cardstock a little bit of a spritz, make sure it's not on a full spritz, just a little bit of a spritz, just to sort of hydrate the card, it will cut. We'll see here so i'm just spritzing the card and just dampening it a little bit and then get your um, die again pop it back on top make sure it's lined you feel it sort of click back into place it's actually all the bits are falling out now i've wet it but none of this posh spray stuff we don't need it all you need to do is just spray it with a bit of water pop it back on your die cutting machine and then run it through again because sometimes the intricate parts do take a little bit of, you know, movability. But these are just little tricks that can help, aren't they? So I'll just run this one through again. First trip to the shop last Saturday. I'm watching today. Oh, welcome, Beverly. Lovely to see you, sweetheart. I'm pleased you've come to join us. Let's have a look. Are there any dies that would be suitable for the three inch die? Of course, Catherine, I've got some smaller ones too. Well, they're not small, but they're thin, long and thin. So I'll talk about that. So now you can see, I'll just turn that over. Can we see now? I gave it a complete spritz just with water. Okay, just with water. Um, and now it's cut. You can see all of those cut lines. It's cut absolutely beautifully. So I would probably suggest if you cut it through and it doesn't quite cut, you know, sometimes in the past we twist and twist and twist and we're trying to get it to cut and it won't cut in the middle sometimes. It's probably not the die, it could be the machine, it could be the cardstock you're using, but I always find every time that if I spray the cardstock with a little bit of water, it sort of gets into those fibres and it runs through like butter. Absolutely incredible. So just a little tip for you there, guys. Let's just get this off my plate now. And you can see now when you pull it out... The actual butterflies are staying in the um there we go They'll pop out absolutely beautifully and then as i've shown you with that black pit this is a little bit damp so bear in mind that will have to dry but then the butterflies all pop out as individuals now if you cut this in say powder pink powdered blue and a lemon you would have a beautiful um sort of spring-like card all you need is a sentiment in the center you've got a beautiful topper for your card so that one let's just show you on my um glass mat here guys just so you can see i hope you can see that i'll just move my glass mat over so you can see the measurement just slightly there we go so it's just shy of seven hope you can see here and it's exactly five in width let me just hide my mat here as well so you can see there we go. Look. So you can just see it's just shy of seven 
and five wide. So if you're wondering what the size of this one, so when it says plate or when it says like a large die, let's have a look, like a frame, they're all this size because this is the biggest you can go. Okay, so if you're looking at these sort of aperture dies, which have just got one large die, they're all going to be this size. So have a look at the different ones. So let's just set this aside. I'm going to end up with a lot of die cuts here, aren't I? But it's okay. So I will give this one away because I've used it. It's a beautiful one, that one. It's my, one of my favourites because the paper piece inside of it looks absolutely stunning if you've got the patience to paper piece them back in and then raise the wings as well so let's have a look at another one. Oh, jackie's planning on coming to the shop come to, come and say hi it's still a little bit of a mess but we're getting there trio of decorative panels somebody's wanting to, let's see if i've got it i hope i've got it with me let's have a look i have a whole bunch here I haven't got it with me. Tim, would you be able to? Tim's going to go and have a look. So it's the trio of decorative panels, Tim. They're on the floor where the girls are packing sweet hats. So Tim will have a look for that one for me. And I'll just open the next one while he's sorting out. So let's have a look at, oh, let's have a look at this huge watering can because this one's a nice one too. So you can see, look at how big that is. This, is, this one's a real nice one. Nice focal point, this one, guys. I know a lot of you have spent and got the six or bought three or even bought one, but I have had a couple of emails saying, what's the size? And I do apologize, the sizes are not physically on the website. So why not today utilize it, hey, and show you some of the sizes. So this one is quite a big one as well. Let's just set this aside. So you can like, pop it on the mat here. So it's about four and a half wide and tall, just over five. Can we see that there? It's quite a big one, isn't it? So you can see on your A6 card, how cool is that? You'll be able to see it. It'll just go onto an A6. It, that's a six. This is a six by six card. So you can see in the center of a six by six. And this is an A5, which is half an A4. So you can see it would, what it would look like in the center of that card as well. I shredded another packet. <laughs> I know. It's okay. It's okay. So let's run this one through. Move this to one side. Watering can is gone. Isn't it just? I just think with your washi tape sentiments in the centre, maybe that would look cool, wouldn't it? Oh, Amanda's got the watering can. So I can see straight away this little element here, this flower here is not quite cut. Thank you, Tim. So I've got the decorative panel, so I'll show you that one. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to give it a little bit of a spritz again, not too much a little bit of a spritz i'm going to put my die back on top place it back in and you can see because when you try and move it around it won't move it sort of like fits back into place and i'll just run it through that one more time i love the watering can me too but once these have gone they've absolutely gone we've only got a handful of pretty penny left to be honest with you we did the stamps and dies on tv there are some of those left and i will use those probably on the my weekender um but really we haven't got that much you can see as soon as you dampen it a little bit look what happens it comes straight out it's a really really cool technique if you have been struggling at home secure a panel four by 5.5 that's right that is very right so i'm just going to pop out this the big old dies they really are and the hence the name not a pretty penny Just be careful because it is slightly damp when you're pulling it through. Don't want to tear it if you can at all possible. A 
if you haven't got a spray bottle, get a spray bottle. Don't make your life a misery trying to pop pieces out of die cuts because that little bit of added water really is going to speed up that die cutting process, stop you from getting annoyed with it. Because it is annoying, isn't it? Particularly when you love the die, but it's not cutting in the parts that you want it to cut in. Let's just shock that. Now you could colour the flower elements if you wanted to with an alcohol marker, spritz it, glossy accent it, sparkle pen. I love the detail down here. If you wanted to paper piece that back in, that would look pretty cool. And then you get the spots in the arm there as well. So there we go. Just pop out those bits if, if I'm sending these out to somebody. Tracy's saying on the next Craft Together stamp, I'm just waiting, Tracy, as soon as it lands, sweetheart. We haven't had any update for a while now, um, but we are chasing it. It'll have been all around the world by the time we've finished, won't it? Um, but as soon as I know, as you know, I'll come straight in studio. And what I'll do is I'll, I'll, still, I'll just delay on my inspiration until I know everybody's got theirs. So I won't start the inspiration until I know everybody's got theirs. So it's something to look forward to. That was pretty. Totally. Um, so if you are joining the show late, welcome to the channel. You can watch us at any point on catch up. You can even mute me if you just want to watch me die cutting through um, some of the elements. So next, I want to show off. Oh, let's do this decorative panel. I mean, look at this. Flipping Nora, it's huge. Let's have a look. What size? Now these look brilliant. Matte and layered onto got white or um, black onto gold or vice versa and set of like an aperture card where you do all three as a triptych card one big sentiment across there they look beautiful i will get let's just have a look at the size i'm gonna tear the packet out of here another torn packet tracy i'm sorry oh no oh no <laughs> let's take one of them off our card here look so on these panels, to the lady that was asking, they are just over two and just above, oh well, four and a half, say. There we go. And you get three of those designs in there. So you get the one with the dragonfly, the sort of tulip design in the centre, and then the foliage with the two butterflies in the right corner. I'm not going to cut this one. I hope that's okay. Um, I just want to get through a few other ones as well. So let's just set that aside. So that's the size of each panel, and they all look the same. Oh gosh, Amanda was here yesterday for our craft therapy. We have like a craft therapy. Anybody is welcome, by the way. Just come at one o'clock on a Monday with your craft and just no craft gets done, by the way, none at all. They all just sit and put the world to rights. However, Tim was saying how he's been like cooking up a storm in the kitchen and I was in the background going like this. And all the girls were laughing and like, I promise you, I've been making some stuff in and all the girls were like, and I went back and going, Anyway, so we've been, we've been saying he needs to get on here cooking up a storm, you know, like Chef Pee Pee. Oh, he's like, no, you're not putting me in front of a camera. But I think he'd be good. So I'm talking to him about it. Yeah, I was pulling his leg. <laughs> chuffing stuffing. <laughs> yeah, chuffing. It's delicious, mine, but I was winding him up. He was saying how amazing it is with his nuts and is breadcrumbs and how he has to dissect all breadcrumbs with Tom and I'm in the background going. So funny. Oh, how's the little one today? He's brilliant, Joe. Thank you so much. He bounces into school. He stays for all the after school clubs. I can't stop him. He's just a bundle of joy. That's why I didn't have a second. You never have two of the same. So I'm cutting this beautiful, let's just find the name. So this is the floral heart here. So it's got the stitched heart in the center, but it's got like this foliage coming from the background and it's got flowers in which you can paper piece. You can stamp a sentiment in the center if you want to. Angela says that would definitely be worth tuning in for, Chef Pee Pee. <laughs> so let's have see how we'll go with this one. So this is that beautiful heart. If you've noticed, I've picked the ones with all of the detail because I really want to show you, I wanted to show you that technique with the spritz of water. 
So I don't want anybody to get frustrated with any dyes, including any other brands. I have other brands which are a nightmare. Spritz with a bit of water, Ooh, straight through. Amazing. Would love to, would love to try something. Oh gosh. <laughs> Don't get him going, girls. My God, I'll be without a job. If he gets on this channel, that's me done. I'm telling you, I won't get a look in. <laughs> Sample tasting next week, Tim. Tommy's a breadcrumb boy. <laughs> so let's see. I'll just turn it over. I can see it hasn't cut look because of that detail there. So I'm just going to give it a spray. In fact, shall we try and spray it from the back? Don't know if it'll work, but you know. We'll try, can't we? What's the worst that can happen, guys? <laughs> uh, well, it does, it does do good parsnips. I love parsnips. <laughs> it's so, I'll tell you what, it's a laugh a minute in my house. I promise you, it is a laugh a minute. Oh, it's cut beautifully now. That's a, I love that little technique. Look, you can see straight away how different it is. Just adding that little bit of hydration into that cardstock. Just be careful where you're taking it out of your dye, though, because it will be a little bit damp. It only takes a couple of minutes to dry. But you can dry it off with your gun, too. So don't forget to share this video if you can, if you're able. Um, when we've gone off air and pop a comment underneath because all of the dyes that I've used in studio I am going to give away as well oh we've got lots more people on now Woo! lovely to see you all it really is and then just pop out all of the I mean this is a really really easy and then we'll I'll pop it on shall I pop it onto some gold Let's just get some. Let me just pop out some of the pieces. I mean, that is such a pretty dye. If you've got your washi tape animals, these dyes lend themselves really well to Edith, Henrietta. These are the ones that I used in most of my samples. I think you get the idea. So this one is floral hearts. Okay, floral heart. I'll stop faffing now because I need to cut some more, but you get the idea. Oh, there's a big flower there. I need to pop out. Look. You could, if you had the time, you could absolutely paper piece this in if you wanted to, you know. These, mind you, could you be bothered? There's a few. There is a few. There we go. Really, really pretty in design, that one. Roast parsnips it, with honey, Sue said, to die for. So there's that one there with that beautiful sort of floral embellishment on there as well. Really, really pretty. So let's move on to the next one. Let's just pop out those bits. Sorry about the noise. I'm putting all the ones I'm using to the other side, though. Right, let's move on. What's next? Let's do this one. Bird cages. Do you want to see the size of this one? Now, you're probably wondering why some are pinky colour and some are white. It doesn't make them you know different in any way it's just different in appearance okay um we were undecided whether to go pink or to go white and in the end we actually went white because they stood out on your glass mat but again it doesn't make any difference so let's have a look at the size of this one so this one is about one and a half and four and a half tall now if you're into your hobby house type style cards um and your stamperia papers and things like that these look incredible as backdrops So let's just, I'll just cut two of these for now. So 
we have a few people watching on our USA page too, so welcome to the channel. As you know, we will um, be doing our HSN show first week in March, which I'm so excited about for our lovely USA fans. Our brand to be in America is going to be amazing. Jean says, uh, let's have a look. When is it? It's coming, the glass mat. I've only just finished it, so it will be a couple of months yet, though. As you can imagine, glass to import is very expensive, so I've had to do it the long way. I'm going to push this one back as well. Let's have a look. <laughs> what you all like. These bird cages are really pretty. These have to be one of my all time favourites from Pretty Penny. So, as you can see, I haven't had to spray this one. So, I always try them first without the spray. And you get three different styles of bird cages in here some with two birds in, some with the one, some with um, none, and which actually looks like a lantern. You see that there? It looks like a lantern more than. So you could put your own butterfly on that, your own bird. But here we go. Look how beautiful they are. Oh, they're so pretty. So you could do them at different levels on a DL card if you wanted to. You know, make them sparkly, just a sentiment. We put no effort, I think, with this lot. Right, moving on. Moving on. Hi, USA fans, Charlotte's in. Thank you, Charlotte. Time to save up for the Mac Caroline. Yes, time to save up, guys. Um, I'm just waiting for the magnets as well, because it's magnetised, so you'll be able to hold your stencils in place. And it's got something else cool as well, which we've not spoken about, which I'll not speak about right now. Just don't want to tease. But it's got some cool features. Right, let's have a look at something else. What's everybody having for tea tonight? No, no, you didn't miss much. I'm just talking my way through of the... Oh, let's do this one. The clock. This is cool. It has handles. So this is cool for time of birth, birthday time, meet me at, Valentine's, anything. So you can see it's super huge. I might have to spritz with this one with the wasp. It's got like pine leaves behind. And it has the handles. So I'll pop the little handles on too. And it has a long and short handle as well. So you've got the right woman handles for your time. Let's just grab some card. I am cutting on 280 card here. You're probably actually all going to be cutting in a, a much thinner one than me. But I'll just like this card. Let's pop our little arms on, little legs. So I can see quite a few of you are now popping more pretty pennies in your basket, and that's absolutely fine. Um, just bear in mind the offer ends on Friday. Okay, I'm going to leave it on till Friday, as well as the Imala, um, which is buy four, save 30% on all Imala products. And these pretty penny ones, I buy six, get a free trimmer. But if you just want to buy one, you can. I have reduced every single pretty penny die from £16.99 down to £6. And if you are in the club or have points, you're going to get them at about £4.50 or £5. You can thank me later. <laughs> oh. Lean burgers, so Suzanne's having lean burgers, onions, mushrooms, baked potato, or chips. Gotta be chips, chunky chips. Welcome, Anne Marie. Oh, it's caught, it's fine. See, sometimes you, I wouldn't spray first time I'd 
test the dye throwing machine if you're having lots of pain with it then um, spritz it with that little bit of water but look here the numbers fall out too so if you want to pop the numbers back in in a different color you can okay so so gorgeous again if you've got your wash it or any cute animals from any other brand whatever whatever brand you like stamps whatever it is and then we've got our lovely let's pop this on some black so you can see so we've got that there and you could fill it out a little bit more with your own embellishments and then we have the clock arms which we can glue in place for a celebratory time or event or how cool is that? And then we've even got the numbers look. I mean, they're in white. But if you wanted to pop out those numbers, three. Oops, don't lose them if you are wanting to paper piece them back in. And then the number one. I mean, for six pounds. I'm selling them to you for less than I pay for them. So, there we go. Let's move on. So that clock will be going as well. Let's pop it back on its carrier sheet. Am I boring you all yet? Shall I just carry on? Tony, hi Tony. When will the washi tape sentiments black? Uh, the black has been ordered along with Edith, Henrietta and Romeo because a lot of you have um, requested that one. What I do encourage though is if any of you waiting for the for any items on our website what we're doing is we're gonna when they drop out of stock we're gonna leave them on the website it'll show out of stock but they will be left there if you really want that item click the button that says notify me when back in stock um tim monitors it manages it and if we get um enough people requesting we do order it we don't need to take it back to tv we will order it for all of those people that missed out i ordered the tranquility paper pad and stamp i know it sold out again uh, but if enough people notify want click the notify me when back in stock again i'll order it again but you know and then you'll get an email to say hey your item that you were waiting for is back in stock would you like to order it so go and have a look if there's something there like the black tabs as well i mean i know they're already on order but if you have the time to sit through the website and you really like something and it's showing out of stock click that notify me when back in stock Get all those notifications as well which is nice keep you up to date that's what we try to do so let's have a look at look look at this dragonfly i'm not going to cut it i'm just going to show you size of it so you see it on the packet or on the website like that and the size of it is that absolutely huge now you think about your if you did that in black on a watercolor wash background with maybe a moon in the sky some splat finished cards straight away let me just see if i can figure out the size of this about so it's seven tall oh my gosh and it's six five and a half wide the wings are up to seven and its tail this is five and a half look maybe hang on five you can see and then you get the little miniature one as well which you can 3d on top if you want it's huge isn't it i know uh, is it too big <laughs> and you can never have enough dragonflies or butterflies so that's the dragonfly i've also got the butterfly let's show you this one as well i'm not going to cut these because these are the ones that everybody buys butterflies dragonflies they are beautiful so this is your e elegant butterflies these are still available just wowzer <laughs> wow so large and small Gillian, will the glass mat be pre-ordered? Unfortunately, Gillian, I just don't like doing pre-order because I always think best laid plans and all, they always get kiboshed with what's going on in the world. So I, I just prefer to wait till everything's in the building and then say, hey, I can dispatch it straight away. But I will give you the heads up as soon as I know whether it's like a week away or whatever, I'll keep letting you know it's like it's due on Monday or it's due on Tuesday. So I will keep you up to speed with that. Some A4 embossing folder backgrounds. Yes, you can have some A4, but yes. It's a specific mould and it costs a lot of money to make the mould, but I do like A4 myself, so I am willing to have a look at an A4 mould. Not a problem at all. So that's the butterflies. 
And then let's have a look what else we've got. Oh, we've got this lovely decorative rose here. Look here. So this one has the decorative, beautiful, if you want to do that 3D embellishment, raising up and things like that, where you build two and three on top of each other, then we can do that one as well. Um, but you've got that matte and layer, and there it is. Look how big is that? I love this one. Let's just see how big this one is. Five by five. So beautiful for a six by six card, is that one? I've done them ones. Let's see what else we've got. Shall we cut another one? Oh, let's have a look at this one. So I quite like, if you like this one with the sort of rectangle design here, with the three sort of panels where you can create, create that triptych card, you're going to like this one, which is the tree tiles. So it goes on a slim line. Now, if you do the painted um, green trees on a black background, it really does look like a set of trees going through like mist or something like that. You get the matte and layer so you can create the tile effect. But it equally, if you wanted to do two rows of the trees as well, you could do that. New day, new beginnings, you know, um, the future is bright, things like that. I like, the, this is sort of like Minecraft, what I like to do. Pretty rose, yeah. So let's have a let's cut let's cut this one. So this one is your floral frame. Now, if you have the cute critters and things like that, this is going to be amazing. Look at that one. I love this one. I love a good frame. <laughs> Hi, Panda Crafts. Hope you're well. So, if you're just tuning in. Lovely to have you at the channel. Just one second, I'm just going to turn the heating off. I was freezing when I walked in, now I'm absolutely red hot. So if you are tuning in, this is quite a relaxed show today. It's not always like this. We do like to do it every now and then, but I just wanted to see my friends today. I really needed a break from the hustle and bustle and the dramas that come with the crafty world. So I've come to say hi to my lovely friends. So thank you for joining us. We have lots of inspiration on our channel. And if you're not a subscriber, please click that subscribe button. Um, we're trying to grow our fabulous channel, which is TV on the go, basically. Live, broadca live broadcasting pretty much most days. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pop this on here. Another piece of white card. Shirley loves this frame. Right. Let's run this one through then. Oh no, not another ripped packet. Oh, am I killing you all by ripping the packets? I'm sorry. <laughs> oh gosh, you'll all be beating me up. Everybody beats me up. If I had a pound for every time I said that, I think I could pack crafting, couldn't I? Everybody beats Tony up when really they don't. It's such a porcupine. Who needs packets anyway, Enid? <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I've not taken my frustration out on the packaging, Amanda. Tim, Tim gets it. He doesn't really. He doesn't. And he would stand there and take it as well. Well, I got my frustration. <laughs> so let's just show you how lovely this one is. This is so gorgeous. So what happens with this one is it's quite different in design. So the centre panel can go back in, you can paper piece that back in, should you wish. But the cool part about it is this part comes out here too, look. Hopefully, she says. Carefully pull it up, there we go. Oops, a daisy. And then the bottom one here. So it all pops out, so you have like a floating frame. Which, if you cut this one in gold mirror card and paper piece the gold mirror card back into these, to this area, I'll just, I will grab some card. I'll just pop a few of the elements out just to show you. If you have one of those scratchy tools. So we have lots of tools on the way. We have, um, what have we got? We've got some electric razors. Erasers, electric. <laughs> electric razor. <laughs> Gosh, honestly, Tony. Electric erasers to get rid of the mucky marks on your card. Uh, we have some little hoovers to get the bits off your cutting plates. 
we have um oh we've got so much i can't tell you there's just that much i can't even remember um just pop i said i weren't going to pop all bits out but i'm still popping anna it is because it's a nice one it's beautiful let's just show so like then bits there you know sometimes you have to get your pokey tool up like if i scratch that off some still stick don't they like that so we've got like a little hoovery thing which will get them off you suck them up so we haven't got to faff and try and get all bits off and then end up everywhere bar in the bin so let me just pop this onto some black cardstock and show you this one you could paper piece that back in in colored cardstock in the florals if you want to absolutely awesome i just wait can you just show this one for me tim thank you there we go so you make sure you pop out all of your bits of course and if you if you do struggle just get that water but i love this one and if you did it in two colors and you took this part and paper pieced it back in so you could you know our big sentiments with the you know you are awesome, you are this, you are that. That would sit beautifully within there. Sounds great, Tony Tools. Yeah, just more, get some more tools in our range as well. Right, let's have a look at some more very quickly, because I appreciate I've had you all nearly an hour now. I've had enough of you all. I've got my crafty fix. I've seen my friends now. You can all get off. I'm only joking. I'm only joking. What's all that about? Shall we have a look at this feather? No, let's have a look at, let's have a look at hello. This one's a nice one because the word is attached in the center, hello, but we can take hello out and have that wreath and twist it. So let's do this one. So I've cut, oh, I didn't look at that. I, I looked after the bag, Enid, Tracy. <laughs> So let's just take this one off. So let's just see how many dies I've actually used because I'm going to do a giveaway, Anna, for everybody. So I've used one, two, three, four, six, six dies to one person. All you need to do is pop a comment. Oh, I'm cutting that one, Anna. Pop a comment underneath this video when we go off air. And I'll pick a winner and I'll announce, I'll announce it tomorrow because I'm in studio tomorrow. I have some lovely items in a bit of a sale tomorrow for you. So if you've been had your eye on some items, maybe they're going to pop up in a little sale tomorrow. So I'm with you for that tomorrow at one o'clock. Then on Thursday, guess who's in studio? I'll let you guess. Who's in studio on Thursday with me? You'd be lost without us. Are you sure about that, Enid? Who's in studio with me on Thursday? Anybody keeping an eye on my website? If you, if you know, I know you've been on my website. <laughs> um, I'm going to give you an opportunity to guess. Stop going to the website and cheating. Carly, no. Simon, no. I love playing games, don't I? I'm a nightmare. You see where Tom gets it from, can't you? <laughs> Simon, no. Emma, no. Shirley, Amanda, Kellyanne Jordan. Yes, well done. So on Thursday, Kellyanne is here. Um, and we've got some other lovely little items in a sale show as well. But I wanted to get somebody else in studio with a fresh set of eyes, with different demonstrations, and so I could have a break. <laughs> But come and say hi to Kellyanne on Thursday. She's really excited. Let's see if this is cut. Mm, maybe. Let's have a look. Maybe. Um, she's really excited. And so am I. I really am. So hopefully it has cut. Mm, maybe. Let's have a look. So this lovely word in the centre. I'll just push that through. This lovely word in the centre, hello, will... But you, snipped, you can snip it out and there are some beautiful pretty penny words as well guys some like loves and things like that and um what else is a love thank you and things like that as well so go and check out the words because there's some beautiful sort of decorative words which are big words as well they look small on the website but they are quite big so i'm just going to give that a shuffle 
and hopefully this frame is going to come out of the card he says fingers crossed do i need to help it a little bit Ooh. oh there we go i don't think the bits are going to pop out without without a little bit of an aid but let me show you this is really nice Where's my focus tool? I've got poker tools on the website as well if anybody wants a poker tool for your pick up gems. So gorgeous. Your bits will pop out. You might need to spritz them with some water, but let me just one second grab my scissors. I'm just going to show you the snippability for Hello. I mean, it's a given. You would know as crafters anyway, wouldn't you? If you were looking at this, how you could snip it out. You don't need me to teach you. You're all savvy crafters, I know that. And then if you cut it twice, you could do the drop shadow on Hello as well if you wanted to. Here we go. So pretty. Shirley goes on to HTCN every day. Oh, bless you, Shirley. <laughs> yeah, well, we have so much interaction on our page now. We have TV schedule. That's going to show you exactly what's coming up. We have catch up. So if you're at work or you missed a show and you were out shopping or something like that, we have catch up. Go back and watch those. We have the awesome deals page, which shows you the savings on whatever shows we've had as well. We have the inspiration page, which takes you to the live gallery for YouTube videos. And it also takes you to the PDF step by steps that the beautiful Karen on our design team does. And it's picture by picture, stage by stage. And if you want to download it and save it, then you can do that. So you can also pop each of the step by steps as your favorites in your account as well. You can also save lots of other things in there in your account as well it is a nice place to go we have created it for you we want it to be easy we want you to come and spend your money with us here on the how to craft network studio we want to be that one-stop shop where you know you're going to be able to get good bargains nice products and that lovely cuddle whenever you purchase we do want to look after everybody it's a family business you look after me and i will look after you it'll look after itself Whatever you're doing, have a lovely afternoon. I'm back with you tomorrow at one o'clock by myself. I will announce the winner. All you need to do is pop a comment underneath this video and I will pick a winner of those lovely six pretty penny dies. Whatever you're doing, stay safe, stay cozy as always. Stay out of the wind if you can at all possible. And don't forget to check out your baskets because obviously pretty penny, when it's gone, it's gone. Have a lovely day everyone. See you later. Bye guys.